Hello. Today we're going to be walking through taking an existing Nutanix Marketplace Blueprint and converting it to use vCenter as the provider. Let's get started. So here we are in Prism Central on the Calm tab within the Marketplace section. You'll notice we don't have any Marketplace Blueprints published yet. So let's come down here to the Marketplace Manager and we're going to publish the LAMP Blueprint. So first thing, I'm going to share this with the project. In a previous video, we set up uh, this demo project and tied it into our vCenter environment. And now we're going to hit Publish. All right, now that that's published, let's come to the Marketplace. We're going to click on the LAMP Blueprint. And instead of launching it, we're going to hit Clone. So we're going to call it LAMP vCenter. Select our project. We'll go ahead and hit Clone. All right, first thing I'm going to do is delete the GCP and AWS application profiles. Then we're going to rename the Nutanix profile to VMware. We don't need the instance public key, as we're going to change this over to uh, password base auth. Go ahead and fill in the MySQL password there. And next, let's, let's go ahead and change over the authentication, as I just mentioned. So this is going to tie in to the VMware template that we created earlier. And now we're going to go through one at a time and move these uh, services over from AHV to VMware. We're going to rename the substrate, change the cloud here to VMware, select DRS mode, we're going to do our lone wolf, wolf cluster, uh, CentOS template and Lone Wolf Storage Pod. Instance name, we're going to do SQL and then leave the default there. We're going to do the default CPU and memory as well. Feel free to change that if you'd like. Host name, I'm just going to leave this as SQL. There is a 15 character limit there with VMware, so don't, don't have that be too long. Domain.local and New York time zone for me. We do need to add a network setting that needs to be equal to the number of NICs on the template. And finally, we're going to use Google's DNS. And we do have to select that template NIC address there. So that's how we move it over to VMware. We need to do the same thing with these other two services. So lastly, another thing we should do is verify that all of the uh, package install tasks have the credentials filled out appropriately. It looks like uh, these do not. So we'll want to just select a CentOS credential. OK, so that looks like it should be good. Let's real quick go ahead and hit Save ensure no errors come up. All right, we see it was saved and we do not have any errors. So we're good to launch. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and name the application. Uh, if you want, since we had this as runtime, you can fill in a new MySQL password. We'll just leave it as, as we configured earlier. Now we'll go ahead and hit create. All right, so now we see that it's provisioning. 
Uh, we'll have to wait about 10 minutes uh, till that switches over to running and then we'll be all set. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video. All right, now we see that the application is now running. If we come over here to vSphere and refresh this, we'll see we have the HA and PHP and MySQL VMs created. Coming back, we can go ahead and verify that the application is running correctly by clicking on the LAMP link here. And we do see that we have an Apache HTTP server. And there you have it. Pretty easy to switch over the existing Nutanix Marketplace blueprints to your vCenter provider. Thanks for watching and have a great day.